Hello everyone. In this short video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do the send image in um, Palos F200X. For this reason, I'm going to load the stand packet register. You can see the diffraction disk over there. And at the same time, I can start researching while the setting up the setting the packet register we previously clicked. Now it's the image. Good. So this is this sample is the is a uh, standard semiconductor sample with those uh, silicon substrates. So we can go to an area of interest like this, and then we can start to acquire the imaging. So the imaging I'm using the high angle annular dark field imaging, which reveals the Z contrast. Well. Searching, you can see how the diffraction might have been changed over the field cam. I also have other stand image mode, which is DFS, DFS, and DFO, DFI, which is the, those four images are coming from the Panzer stem detectors. So, Panzer stem detector is the new generation of the stem detector, which has higher DQE and uh, sensitivity, which means it can deliver high quality stand imaging with low dose. And with this, we can go to find the area of interest. Okay. And then we can acquire this four channels uh, simultaneous stand imaging, which when I say four channel, because the DF is, is the sum up of the DFO and DFI. And the, Bright field imaging you have seen is, is has similar contrast as you seen in TM, and DFI and DFS uh, is for um, dark field imaging, which is particularly good when you have been some precipitate or dislocation. You can set up a proper camera to image those precipitate or or dislocation or other things which can generate the diffraction contrast. Good. So now we can head for the high resolution. For this reason, I will just disable the other imaging mode and start searching. To be able to perform the high resolution stand imaging, we need to find somewhere which is close to zone axis, which is close to zone axis. So now you can see using the flu scan, uh, flu scan to see uh, the the diffracting pattern and judge where is the best for the zone axis. Okay, let's see. I can pause the scan on blank beam and position park the beam to a different area. See where I end up with the best. Okay, somewhere here in Velox, you can just double click and then the sample stage will move to where you want it to move. Okay, I pause again just to make sure we are really at the zone axis or to search the best uh, area for zone axis. Okay, here it is somehow good. So let's move the stage to zero. Okay, yes, we are good at the zone axis. Okay, for this reason, okay, I can give this even signal rating. Okay, so for this, I can use the focus area for a bit of fine tuning of the uh, focus and the stigmation. The, the other way, deep focus, somewhere here, yes. Okay, now I can start to play around a little bit the, the stick mission. Okay, it was good. So we then can use the rotation tool to align the silicon dumbbell as you see here to the horizontal direction. We can put 10 degree 
away so that we can see the demo in that T clear. Good. So we go to a stuck in good magnification and the choir. So now you can see the dumbbell is the nice and separated. At the same time, you can go once you finish, we will see the FFT here for us to judge which resolution we reached for this ten imaging. Uh, yes, here we can clearly see this. This is the reflection for dumbbell one. 1.36 Armstrong. Okay, and we also can improve the uh, the signal to Loisy by using the drift correction, as we will show in here. We I will use just use the 150 pixel with 20 frames. Search is good. Then I can start to search, start to acquire. So while acquiring, I can start to analyze immediately. So the drift correction algorithm can work very well, lively. So you can really see the, how the signal improves with the more frames. Now you see the dumbbell is, you see better contrast and also the dumbbell is clearly uh, separated, resolved. And you see the same FFT over here. And this is all about how to do the stellar imaging on Talos and enjoy using the microscope.